Hi everybody, today here at Cowtown we're going to talk about boat trailers. It's something a lot of people don't do videos on because a lot of people just, you know, their, their boat trailers have a pretty easy life. Now in the jet boat world, which we live in here in the middle of the Ozarks, our trailers take the biggest beat even more so than the boat. In over the years, like us uh, and a lot of manufacturers, we've had trouble with boat trailers surviving out here in the river. It's a lot of times to get to the river, we run a lot of miles of county road. We have unimproved ramps in a lot of places. We, we're backing them in off gravel bars. Over the years, we've seen a, a lot of troubles out of boat trailers that weren't specifically built for the river. So we're going to walk you through this trailer a little bit. This is a B&M manufacturing trailer. It is built special for Cowtown. Now, um, first thing you notice here is how our side guides or wing guides come on top of the fender and come up past the fender. Most boat trailers you see in the field stop right here with the side guide. And what we see repeatedly and have seen over the years, when you're loading in the current, the boat gets a little crossways on the trailer. Because you don't have a your side guide ends back here or a wing guide, the boat winds up on top of the fender. It's very common. So by keeping this longer up above the fender, at no point during the load process should you wind up with the boat sitting on top of the fenders. Your fenders are protected. Now another thing, talking about the fenders, very common to damage fenders. You, you know, or they've been done at uh, loading the boat on them or, or hitting a post. I mean, a number of, number of things can damage boat fenders. The problem with boat tra most boat trailers out there, when you damage the fender, the only way to repair and replace it is to cut it off the trailer. Now, the other problem we have with a lot of river boat trailers or have seen is the spring hanger sticks down. Now, on most trailers, that spring hanger is welded to the frame of the trailer. The problem is when you back off the boat ramp, and your tires run off the end of the ramp, which is not, not uncommon, the trailer drops down on the frame. Wham! Well, when you go to pull it out, the spring hangers hook on the concrete, and we've seen spring hangers rip off the frame of the boat, or frame of the boat trailer. Not good. You know, you've just about totaled your trailer. So, what they have done here, and this directly relates to the fender, the spring hangers, the trailer fender, the steps, these are all, you can see this U-bolt here, are bolted onto the boat. There is a piece of angle right here, runs along the bottom of the frame. We damage a fender, we rip a spring hanger, we unbolt that, take it off, and we can replace it very easily. Now, this particular trailer does have 17-inch wheels on it. We offer them an 18-inch wheel, 17-inch wheels, 14s, all the way on down. But now, another thing about this, this fender and spring hangers being on a piece of angle is means we can slide this fender or this axle. So if we get a customer in here with a smaller, lighter vehicle and the machine has too much tongue weight on it, we can slide this axle forward and take some of the tongue weight off. You know, if you're you know if just beating around on the back of your truck, you can slide it farther back. So this is fully adjustable as fully replaceable. Now we are using a very heavy tube on this particular model trailer. But another thing we're going to kind of touch base on is we've sold other brands of boats, Ranger and such, very high dollar trailers. But if you notice when you when you're boat shopping, especially for a river boat, most trailer tongues are very short. A couple problems with that. Uh, for one, it is hard or impossible in some cases to let your tailgate down with the boat trailer hook or to raise the hatch on an SUV. I've seen them hit the windscreen before. So the other problem with a short tongue trailer is we are, we are fishing in the river. A lot of times in the summer, you get the truck off on the water before the boat goes. Now, by lengthening, lengthening this tongue, we can let the tailgate down, we can open the hatch, and you're less apt to get the back tires of your truck off in the water because you simply have more reach on this trailer to get out into the river. Now, this is a personal preference at Cowtown. This is called a bulldog coupler. Most and, and, and towing trailers for a lot of people, they don't do it every day, so it can be a little nerve-wracking. Is it latched? Is it not? 
We've all seen the flip type where you set it down, you latch it, and the trailer's not really latched. The latch went right over the top of the ball. This bulldog coupler, as you can see, is just simply a hinge jaw right here. Now, when we want to close that, we simply... Now, if it won't clamp shut, it's not hooked up. It clamps all the way around the ball, so it's hard to make a mistake with this type of hitch. And, and we do pay more mo money for it, but people do love it. So anyway, that's just a basic general walkthrough on our trailers. You know, uh, of course, LED lights, I mean, we've got them loaded. Very good trailers, being in manufacturing. They will hold up for your little bit.